What's up guys? This is an exciting video because we're going to actually put stuff on our app. So right now we just have it plain and uh, you know, nothing's dynamic, we're not showing any pictures yet. Well in this video we're going to put some food on here and make it look nice. So let's go straight into that. So the first thing I want to do is edit our restaurant uh, class that we made. And I want to keep, create a um, integer to keep track of the current picture that we're on. Um, so we're going to initialize it in our constructor and just set it to zero. And then we'll set getters and setters for this. So generate getters, setters. And instead of set, we're actually going to do increment curve pick. So if they swipe up, we increment. If they swipe down, uh, we'll decrement. And this will make more sense in a second when we uh, actually implement it. So we decrement here and increment uh, the current pri picture. That's the only way we want to let them uh, basically touch this curve pick uh, variable. So if we come back to our main activity, I also want to do the same thing. Um, so this is our on create. I want to create uh, an integer i, which will keep track of the current restaurant being displayed. So first, we'll just display the first one, which will be zero. Um, and then what I want to do is we execute the um, code and then we don't know when it's going to be done. Uh, this is an async call so we don't know when to show on this screen when the Yelp call is done and we have the restaurant data to actually show stuff on the screen. So what we want to do is create a spinner or a loader. So if we go to our main activity, in our main activity, our layout, our activity layout, we can create a progress bar. Get mat. We're gonna wrap, wrap, um, and then we're just gonna give it an ID. Call it loading. At first, we're gonna create. We're gonna make it invisible. So visibility, invisible, and then we're just gonna center in on the screen. Horizontal, true. Vertical, true. Okay. So, and then we're just going to go back to our main activity and get rid of this Picasso um, in our on create. We don't need that anymore. So, just, and then also back to our activity real quick. Sorry, guys. We're just going to make the text empty for both our text views. So, we're going to fill those in. Okay, back to our main activity. Okay, now we just want to create a progress bar. M loading. So m loading is equal to progress bar. Find view by d r d dot progress bar. Oops, we call it loading. All right. So down here, we actually don't know when this is done. So we're going to create a function called wait, uh, wait for restaurant. Um, we're going to we're going to uh, give it a boolean true, which I'll explain how that works in a second. So we're going to we're going to create a uh, boolean up here called waiting, and basically what this is going to do is if we're waiting, um, and it's going to be false to start with. So what's going to happen is. If this is loading uh, different recipes or restaurants and we need a restaurant, we're just going to sit there and wait till this is done. Um, if it's not, you know, they have a restaurant queued, we just show the restaurant. Um, this will make more sense in a second. So create our cl uh, class, public, um, another class uh, method, this is going to be void, wait for restaurant. And basically, what I want I want it to uh, do is spell restaurant right. Restaurant. What I want to do is I want two uh, basically two things to call wait for restaurant. I would like um, to call wait for restaurant from here. And if there is a restaurant, I show the restaurant. If there's not a restaurant, then what I want to do is whenever fetch pictures is done fetching pictures, 
to call wait restaurant and actually display it on the screen. Um, and so this Boolean right here is going to say whether it's this thing right here, the client, I'm going to call it, or whether it's the server. Um, so after we add the restaurants, we're going to call wait for restaurant. And we pass in false. So both these guys are calling wait for restaurant. Um, now, if we have two things calling wait for restaurant, we can get what's called uh, basically a condition, a race condition, where both call at the same time and things can get hairy. So to avoid that, we just add synchronized, and then what, only one person can call wait for restaurant at a time. So the first thing we do is we just check um, if it's client or not. So we do two different things, um, whether it's client or not. So if it's a client, the first thing we're going to check is if you know we have enough uh, if the size of the if, if we have the data loaded or not so we're going to check in restaurants we're going to check the size we're going to check and i is our current position checking if it's um, what which restaurant we're on so loading this it'll have a size of zero and i will be zero so zero greater than zero no um, so this would return false um, so what we want to do is check if uh, it's available. If it's false, basically we wait. Um, and if we're waiting, so if or if this is this is true, um, if we don't wait, so else. So if the restaurant size is greater than i, that means we have the data. So have data, and if we have the data, that's perfect. We're just going to create a new function, so called restaurant callback to public void restaurant callback, and this is basically the function that we will call um, when we have the data, and it'll handle how we display the current restaurant. Okay, so restaurant callback. Um, if we don't have data, we want to wait. We say waiting is equal to true. And that's it. That's all our client does. Um, and then once we're waiting, we want to show the loading. Set visibility um, visible. So we. What we do is we check if we have data. If we have data, we display the picture on the screen. If we don't, we wait and we set the visibility of the progress bar so the progress bar starts. Now, as the uh, server, we're going to check. If waiting, then we do restaurant callback because we now have the data. And we set waiting to false is equal to false. And we do uh, m loading dot set visibility is invisible because we're done loading. We're done loading now, um, and then we don't care if it's if we're not waiting. The server doesn't do anything. We're not waiting on data, so the server doesn't matter. Okay, so that should be working nicely. The only other thing I want to check is there's two conditions. We need to make sure we have uh, the restaurant size. And m restaurants dot pictures m restaurants that get i dot get pictures. So this is the pictures dot size. Same thing um, is greater than m restaurants dot get i dot get current pick. So this is checking the current restaurant. We know the current restaurant is loaded. We want to make sure the current picture in that restaurant is also loaded. And that's the same logic. And we can put this on our line. A little easier to see. OK. Next thing we want to implement is our restaurant callback. So we're going to just call, we're going to create our function called display restaurant. And all we do is we pass in a restaurant. In restaurants that get I display restaurant public void takes a restaurant as a parameter.
Okay. Now, how are you going to display uh, the restaurant? So, first thing we want to do, we want to update that, we want to update that, we want to update that. So, we're going to say, um, I believe it was M title. Yep, M restaurant title. Dot set text. So, we say R dot get name. And M rate cat dot set text r dot get rate and then also we're gonna do Picasso dot with pressing in this dot load is it load it's not load let's look up Picasso real quick Picasso Android I think it's loading maybe. Loading. Nope. Just wait. It's load. And you pass in the URL, which is git. So the the picture that this is the picture that we want to load. So r dot git pictures dot git and r dot git current pick. And then the next thing is uh what image view so dot into m main image okie dokie so this should be working now I'm just going to restart the emulator have it run the code and see what happens so if everything runs correctly we should first see a little spinner that starts loading the uh, as it makes a Yelp API call in the background so right here makes a Yelp call um, in the background and then we wait for that Yelp call to finish. When it's finished, um, we in our on progress update we call wait for restaurant, um, and that goes right here. Um, says that callback, um, and that callback will then update that, and we turn the waiting off, and we should see on our screen uh, the picture. <coughs> Bless me. All right. So we'll let uh, Gradle finish building there and we'll watch our app load up there. Um, the next thing we want to set up in our next video is swiping. Um, so this is just an error message, that's fine. Let's watch it. So first we get this little loading bar, very nice. Oh, it looks like we crashed. So let's just take a look at what we're getting. So we get an invalid index, size is zero. Um, so it looks like we just forgot to add to our restaurant. Yep. Uh, so right here, we created this restaurants list, but we just forgot to add it. So this is um, in the fetch pictures async task. We're going to do restaurants dot add and we just need to add that new uh, restaurant that we're creating in this for loop. So let's rerun our application. So what I, what, what I just forgot to do was add it to the array list. So when we were down here looking for it, it was then gone. Okay, so let's, okay. All right, so the Yelp call is currently happening. We're loading up, oh, did we crash again? So what else is going on? That's weird. Doesn't look like anything crashed. I don't know why it just stopped. I'm just going to rerun it. Oops. And see if it crashes. That's very odd. Okay. Looks like it's running. We're loading. Let's see. It. Okay. Yelp call didn't go through again. Um, method call should happen from main thread. Uh, okay, so this is not happening in the main thread. Should be. This is what I was talking about, how you can only um, touch this stuff. Uh, so what's happening is we tried to update the screen, not in the main thread. So we're doing something in the async task we shouldn't be. So fetch pictures. Fetch pictures should be calling on progress update. And on progress update 
should be calling wait for a restaurant and that should be going through yep so it's coming from there which came from oh okay so I directly called on progress update that's a mistake you call a different one it's a uh, I believe it's publish publish progress okay so the error I was making is I was directly calling this now, let's build this while I tell you what uh, I did wrong. So what I did wrong was I was calling this method directly, um, but to run on the main thread, you have to call publish progress and the async task instead. So okay, let's watch it now. We're loading up a spinner. All right, cool. We see the burgers. Um, it doesn't look like it likes that, so let's see if we made a mistake there. nothing in the output so what I want to do next to check it is um, we're just gonna print out right here r dot get pictures dot get r dot get current picture so I think what's happening is just a we'll reload this I think what's happening is just a simple little error on my part when we're doing this um, thing right here. I think this might need to be an and and that's messing things up. So we'll look at that when this thing loads. All right, load correctly. So what I'm just doing here is I'm looking at the current picture and making sure the picture is a legitimate link. Oh, and looks like that's my problem. Uh, it's not a legit link. I put a zero instead of a uh, oh, so if we go to restaurant, or not restaurant, this is in my restaurant parser. So right here in get original restaurant parser, this should be as O, not as zero. Okay, rerun that. So as you can see, it's very easy to make little mistakes. Uh, it's important to debug your code, just going through running it and making sure uh, everything is running properly. All right, so we're making the Yelp call. It's loading it. Um, our server came back to us. We got this dinosaurs restaurant, um, and it's giving us the sandwich. Very cool, Vietnamese sandwiches down here. So we're actually showing a restaurant now. Very cool. Uh, that's looking very nice. In the next video, I wanna show you guys either how to get the coordinates, or we'll be doing swiping left, right, and getting new images. Uh, for our pictures. So thanks for watching.